Welcome to the new video on the Top Topics channel. Before we start, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we will talk about a brave man and a visionary whose activities saved hundreds of people from the devastating tsunami of 2011. Sit back in your chair and let's go friends! The citizens of Otsuchi had thought that their sea wall would shield them from a tsunami disaster. A huge cement barrier at this ocean's edge, the wall, was built to protect the town from just this kind of calamity. But the wall was just over 30 feet high and the tsunami wave was 50 feet. Unfortunately, the wall took a hit as hard as the town did. A similar fate like Otsuchi met many other cities on the east coast of Japan, with one exception. A few hours drive up the coast from Otsuchi, in the village of Fudai, residents had complained about their sea wall when it was built. They said it was too high and blocked their view. The city of Fudai is located in the area between the cities of Miyako and Kuzi, in places where the tsunami hit particularly hard. The very wave that demolished Otsuchi had barely touched Fudai. One villager said that the only water to touch the town was the spray in the wind. What made the difference? Height. The sea wall at Fudai is 50 feet high and could hold back a wave of the same size. Decades ago, towns along the northeast coast of Japan began erecting sea walls to withstand waves of about 30 feet, which was the height of a terrible tsunami that struck in 1933. Koto Kawamura was the mayor of Fudai when the town began planning its sea wall in the 1960s. Wamura had been a young man when the 1933 tsunami wiped out Fudai and the memories made him determined not to let it happen again. Wamura also remembered family stories about the tsunami of 1896, which had been even bigger, 50 feet. When it came time to draw up the plans for Fudai seawall and later floodgate, Wamura insisted they both be 50 feet high. Many of the villagers were furious, unconvinced. They needed a wall that was so expensive and so ugly, blocking their ocean view. But Wamura wouldn't back down. Fudai got the tallest seawall on the whole northeast coast. Mayor Wamura was not alive to see his wall protect the people who live in its shadow. He died in 1987 
but today he is a hero to all of the villagers whose lives he saved. We are at the end of the video. If you are interested in other stories or you know an interesting one about which it would be worth creating a document, write it in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribing and like. See you in the next video.